Good morning. This video is not just for those who are taking advanced drafting classes. This is for everyone, basically, to get yourself acclimated to how easy it is to go from AutoCAD to Inventor. So I'm just doing a very simple truss here, and I'm going to start preface it with this. I have a AutoCAD drawing drafted. It is a drafted flat. Uh, this particular drawing does not have the center lines drafted, and I would recommend really those who are really going to get into inventors really get going with sketch blocks and with frame generator and cable generator. But in this case, this is not the center lines, it's the edge of the members. So I've got more or less the object. And what I'm going to do is go show you how to kind of start with this assembled thing, break up into parts, and then put the parts back together in assembly. So you do that, of course, by this pro this program here is really carries a lot of files. You really got to keep track of your your excuse me your management of a um, of the directory structure. So we're going to go ahead and make a new structure. I'll call this in a single user project. You want that on your H drive. Typically, I am going to call it in this case. I'm putting mine down. Mark Patak on my documents in a place called Inventor. And the location is that, and I'm going to give this bridge to. I'm going to go ahead and say next. There's all kinds of other things you can do. I am going to set that to be my current project. So when I say now new, and I go to a standard inch part, I'm going to get what is called a part file. Into this part file on the 2D sketch plane, I will then bring in a AutoCAD file. And this guy do not have blocks, so I'm not doing this by sketch blocks, just basic drafting with only the edges, 2D data. Looks like you can bring in paper spathe stuff as well. So I know where my file was. It was draft sketch. Probably should keep that in the directory you want. It's going to take a while for this to come in. The next process is going to be to actually go ahead and save this so you've got the good base. You notice I'm only bringing in the zero layer because I drafted on the zero layer. I don't really need the other ones here. You're not seeing what I'm clicking down below. I'm going to next. You generally want to have these, get the habit of having that on, but I do not have blocks in this one hit a finish and this part was going to come in. It's going to come in based on the origin that I drafted. So it would have been a bad idea to keep the origin at the right or at the left spot. Once I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch and immediately go ahead and file save as checking that it's putting it in the right spot. So it should be putting it in bridge two if I made that. So I'm going to go up and see whether, in fact, it made bridge two a little bit higher. So keeping track of where stuff is going, kind of important. I don't see it there. I'm going to go back down into Inventor, and I'll keep going. But then Inventor. Something about this is not as good as it could be, but I'm going to go ahead and stick it in bridge and I'm going to start calling this 1A, so part 1A, because I had some ones already. So I'm going to call that part 1A. I'm going to save it. Now part 1A is just going to be my base part for now when I start making my other parts. So I'm going to go through this process here. Now I'm in part 1A. I can actually go ahead and extrude. I'm going to make these 0.125 going in both directions. The profile. I'm going to start with this piece and I'm going to think about. It. I click on that piece and I hit OK and you see it finishes that up. Right away I just do File, Save As, Part 2A, Save It As, it's saved, close that out. Now I go ahead and reopen Part 1A. Go back to part 1A. This time I'm going to extrude my next piece. Same thing, 0.125. Now there are other ways to do this. 
frame generator preferable, but sometimes frame generator is not loaded. It didn't seem to load on the computers at school. We'll work on that. But right there, and I all of a sudden go ahead and save it, file, save as. Three A. So if you remember, one A turned out to be the base geometry, and then I'm going to go all the way through. All right, I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to just go the, do the one more process. I'll do this file, close, file, open. You're opening, of course, the base file each time. I'm going to now make four A. I make 4i by going to where I want to go. And you'll see later on there's some different ways to do this in terms of subtracting and Boolean operations, but I'm going to make that 0.125. Okay, and okay. Saving each individual part. A part is more or less akin to a block than in AutoCAD or a component. So I'm going to right now do file, save as, and you can kind of assemble all the parts. So Three, this would be part 4A. So I'll finish the rest of this before we start putting the symbol without recording. So I'm going to finish out the rest of the parts. Hang on. All right, I've, I've gone through and made all the parts. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start a new assembly file, a new assembly file. And you're going to realize each time as I bring in those parts, I'm going to go ahead and place and again, I got to know where my stuff was. Somehow it went into bridge, and I want to bring each of those parts in. I'm not going to bring in 1A, though I could for reference, but I'm just going to start with part 2A open, and I'm going to place it here, yes. It's just is going to come in, and in a second, we're going to see it came in with its origins. And if you look over here, part 2A is grounded, so we're going to leave that grounded. But we're also going to turn on its origin. So when we click over here to the plus, the plus, we can go to the center point and change the visibility. So right now, the visibility, you see that point right there. And that's going to be the point to which we drag all the other things to. So I placed 1A. Now I'm going to place 2A. And this is what will throw a lot of people. You bring it in, and it really doesn't want to put it in any particular right place. So when you see this come in, you really want to get that, grab the wrong one it would appear, done, place, sorry, place 3A is what we want. And really right now you can see that it drags in, it's not dragging it in though you can actually change how to bring it in, how to, that doesn't do it. You can bring it in so it drags with its coordinate, but you see it comes in, done, without its origin showing so what you do then is go turn on its origin right clicking visibility and now you can actually do this grip snap which is the best you got I guess grip that you can free drag and drag that close you see it gets close and it locks it in place right click done I'll do the next one again you're just keeping everything at about a common origin they have a common origin because you started in the general the same coordinate system Draft flat. Don't move stuff. In this case, you're not moving it, but it's kind of forcing you to move it, so you're moving it back to where it was originally. We're going to place part number four. And there's going to be, obviously, better probably ways to do this, but this way does work. Right-click, done. Go to your part. Turn on your origin. I'm going to turn right-click, visibility, and now, of course, you can... Use that grip snap to grab the thing. You grab the grip snap. You grab that. You move it. You drag it to where it wants to be, and you're going to see all of this geometry comes together. So you can close that up. Place part 5A. Same thing. And that one, if you notice, I didn't finish that last one out, so I'm going to kind of put this one off to the side. Say done, and you can start to see, well, somehow on this one here, let me turn its visibility back on, which it is. That part there, we want it to grip snap, move it, and I probably didn't, in the end, hit right-click, done. 
So I'm going to go, you can see on a regular basis, you can turn some of these origins on and off. It's a pretty useful thing. So right now I'm going to turn that visibility right clicking off and turn this visibility on. And now I have once again, a grip snap that I can grab, move to that point, And the final one will be the finish. That's how you put it together. It's not the easiest. It's not so bad. It's just an iterative process. Anytime you have an iterative process, someone is going to write a little program to make it work better.